Hi there, my name is Brad Watson. I'm a real estate broker with Caldecott Properties, an independent brokerage based out of Oakland's Rockridge district. I've worked at Caldecott for a little bit over six years now and specialize in sales and leasing in Oakland, Emeryville, and Berkeley. I'm also a proud Oakland resident living in the Adams Point neighborhood over by Lake Merritt. There are countless reasons why I love living and working in Oakland, from its near perfect weather to its eclectic mix of people to phenomenal restaurants that keep sprouting up by the minute, uh, to the, its proximity to natural treasures, the East Bay Hills and trails, Lake Merritt, Lake Temescal, the Bay, the Estuary, and the list really goes on. But there's one neighborhood in particular that to me encapsulates the spirit of Oakland more than others, and that is the Dogtown Art District. It's a little pocket, which is essentially a, uh, a triangle adjacent to the Emeryville border using Mandela Parkway, uh, Peralta Street, 28th Street, and the 580 Freeway as its, as its borders. Two decades ago, this was an oft-forgotten neighborhood, uh, but with the collapse and subsequent removal of the Cypress Freeway and then the construction of what is about a 30-block long green belt that lines uh, and is Mandela Parkway, this neighborhood has completely transformed. I mean, that and the tireless efforts of local developers and residents. Uh, as I understand it, the origin of the nickname Dogtown came from when the neighborhood uh, had more warehouses uh, and actually more guard dogs than actual residents, but drive through today and that's hardly what you see. Uh, from its eclectic mix of, of architecture to a population that is diverse as Oakland itself, um, I mean, you will find stunning Victorians next to contemporary homes, lofts, and condos, an incredibly strong arts community. Dogtown epitomizes to me what is the Bay Area experience without any of the pretense that you find in many other areas. Uh, having worked in Dogtown since the beginning of my real estate career, I'm amazed at the transformation that's taken place there, and it's far from over. Just this weekend, I walked the neighborhood with Matt Novak of Dogtown Development, Richard Fuentes, a former uh, client and friend, and Sean Sullivan, a uh, candidate for city council, all of them proud Dogtown residents. Uh, I wanted to find out the very latest of what's going on. We could hardly make it five steps without them pointing out something new or something that's about to be done. Uh, I have never met a more closely knit group of residents than those in Dogtown, with many of their efforts spearheaded through the Dogtown Neighborhood Association, which meets monthly to discuss improvements. Just a snapshot of their accomplishments uh, so far shows us a, a $57,000 gateway grant to improve the entrance uh, to the neighborhood on Hollis Street, uh, raising money to have two new murals painted, uh, coordinating with the City of Oakland and City Slicker Farms, in the city's first ever turnover of a public park to create a community garden, to neighbors spending a weekend planting street trees to improve the landscape. Uh, this isn't a neighborhood where you just come home, drive behind your gate, park your car, and stay indoors. This is an active community full of innovative minds, determination, and the demonstrated ability to transform, improve, live, love, and work together. I highly recommend you check it out. Thank you.